Hi guys, my name is Steve. Welcome to Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we are looking at three UK stocks post lockdown in the UK to buy. Today I would like to give a shout out to Rasta Stocks and my friends in the USA who might be thinking of buying some UK stocks. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a financial advisor but if you enjoy this video please give us a like and if you want to see more content then hit the subscriber button below. Before we get into it, for our US watchers, we just need a little background. The UK has been hit by three challenges. Firstly having to deal with Brexit, secondly climate change and thirdly and lastly Covid. With Brexit we left the European Union in January 2021. With climate change, it's something that we're having to deal with and something that has not gone away. We are continually striving to lower the carbon footprint by closing our coal mines and embracing electric cars. With COVID and vaccinations, we are hoping to get some kind of normality soon. Everybody should be vaccinated by July this year at the latest. We're going through a bit of a tough time here but as they say in the UK, we have a stiff upper lip. And like you say in the USA, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. So for the moment guys, in the US I'm staying in the UK and I'm not flying out to America or catching the last midnight train to Georgia. So, if I was an American buying UK shares, there are three shares I would be looking at and investigating. The first one is Ocado, an online food delivery and tech company. The second one is Blue Prism, a company dealing in software and robotics. And lastly, the third one is Tristel, a company involved in healthcare cleaning services. If you live in the USA and you are thinking of buying UK shares, remember you may be charged a currency conversion rate as well as commission charges. One of the platforms you might want to check out is eToro. So, if we start with Ocado, a company founded 20 years ago which IPO'd in July 2010 and whose CEO is Tim Steiner. His company is an internet retail technology company. Their mission statement is to transform online grocery through cutting edge technology and automation. They are often referred to as the Microsoft of retailing. So why is Ocado a good buy? Well Ocado has been a top retail performer during the coronavirus crisis. Their share price has more than doubled since March and it has a strong performance in the fourth quarter with Mark Suspensers on board and Ocado wants to make sure that online shopping carries on like this for good. Akada has been investing a lot in technology. It bought Kindred Systems for $262 million and they develop an AI system to pick and pack online. Okada also paid $25 million for Haddington Dynamics which are based in Las Vegas and they make robotic arms. Over a five year period it is clear Ocado stocks have been going up. They have a market cap of £16.83 billion. Pounds. Their revenue is up and they are making lots of great investments. My view is they are a good buy. The second company we want to look at is a company called Blue Prism. Unlike Ocado which prospered from the pandemic, Blue Prism suffered in their share price. Customers either delayed in their purchasing decisions or they reduced their size deals. The total value of software compared to the previous year nevertheless was still up 46% from 2019. And Blue Prism's revenue was £141.4 million. Blue Prism has also deployed into banking, finance and insurance, 
consumer packaged goods, legal services, public sector, professional services, healthcare and utilities. And also Blue Prism's robotic process automation software has also been introduced and purchased by companies such as Coca-Cola, Pfizer, Prudential, Sony and Walgreens. In 2021, Blue Prism launched Blue Prism Ventures, which helps venture partners find collaboration opportunities within the field of software robotic process automation. The company's first venture is in South Korea, Blue Vision Korea with GTP Plus Limited. However, shares have dropped despite good revenue, as investors felt there was a weak research and development in the company. The company has tried to address this by increasing research and development to £17.7 million, which is 12% of their turnover, turnover. However, if you compare that with their competitor, Pegasus Systems from the USA, they spent 27% of their revenues in 2010. 2020. So there is some concern here. Blue Prism's market cap is around £1.4 billion at the moment. I personally would wait and see before I invest in this company, see how their overseas ventures go and whether they decide to invest more in research and development. Lastly we need to look at Tristel. Tristel is a manufacturer of infection control, contamination control and hygiene products. Its main principal activities are medical instrument disinfection under the Tristel brand, hospital surface disinfection under the Cache brand and clean room, pharma and lab under the Cristel brand. Tristel has taken its products into overseas markets establishing distributors throughout continental Europe, the Middle East and the Far East. If we look at their financials, revenues are up annually by 14% on average. Profits have increased in the last five years from £2.55 million in 2015 to £7.1 million in 2020. They also have more products on approval, which they're expecting from China, and there's new applications of chlorine disinfectant, which are being developed by, by them. So, is Tristel a good buy? Well, their, ass their assets have multiplied by three on the value of current liabilities. The company has a good liquidity and low debt. It is unhindered from Brexit issues, there is no significant exposure to China regarding sourcing chemicals, parts and equipment from overseas manufacturers. And Tristel products are essential in healthcare and the cutbacks in UK healthcare are, are to be honest with you, unlikely and this will not hinder their growth. If we look at the share price over a five year period, there has been a steady upward trend Due to the pandemic, I think we are going to be more conscious of cleanliness and being exposed to viruses, etc. So I can see a growth in this sector. The current market cap is £280 million. This is a stock that I would buy. Again, I would like to thank Rasta Stock and their friends and followers. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe to our channel and look forward to seeing you in the next one. With Brexit, we left the European Union in January 2021. 